Hi, everyone. It's Lori at Crystal Earth Magic. Several of you have asked me to go a little deeper into triggers, um, working on a previous video from a couple of days ago. And so I will oblige and talk a little bit more about being triggered. Okay. <clears throat> to recap, um, we get triggered and we start thinking that something's wrong with us or we're doing something wrong. Um, we've already cleared a particular thing. So we think, we talked about how there were many different layers, kind of like an onion that we keep needing to peel back and peel back. And that these triggers are actually an opportunity to heal deeper layers. And it's not that there's anything wrong with us. It's that we are ready to learn and heal things on a deeper level. <clears throat> so going deeper into that. So what I had said was, um, when you get triggered, as soon as you can, go into meditation, go into stillness, go into nature and get quiet, get into peace and let yourself feel whatever emotion came up, whether it's hurt, whether it's anger, whether it's betrayal, whether it's sadness, despair, whatever it is, <clears throat> let yourself feel that and sit with that and seriously ask yourself, where does that come from? Okay. Usually it comes from your emotions of not feeling worthy, not feeling good enough. You did something wrong. Okay. The other person is simply triggering you by whatever they said, by whatever they did. Okay. Um, and like we talked about in the previous video, this is actually a gift and an opportunity um, to heal another layer of our stuff. Now, <clears throat> we also talked about our stuff is coming up mega, <laughs> mega in this energy. This energy is very crazy this month. Um, it's going to continue to be crazy for a little bit longer, and then hopefully it's going to taper off a little to let us integrate some of this cosmic stuff. But meanwhile, we're being triggered and a lot of the light workers are going absolutely bonkers. Okay. Those of us on the path are having trouble just as much as people who don't have the tools that we have. Don't think there's anything wrong with you. Again, think of it as an opportunity. So when we're triggered, <clears throat> okay. So tomorrow will be Thanksgiving by the time this video goes up and maybe you're sitting around the table with your family and they're going to be talking about things that make you emotional, whether it's anger, whether it's, you know, sadness, hurt, betrayal, whatever it is, whether they're saying things that you don't agree with. Okay. Hopefully we have most of us <laughs> come to the point where we don't get triggered as often and as radically <clears throat> as we did maybe a couple years ago. But there's still going to be those things that come out of left field that really knock us for a loop. And that's okay. Um, first of all, why are we triggered? Okay. Someone is saying something that challenges our beliefs. Okay. What is a belief? A belief is something that we tell ourselves over and over. And it's not a knowing. A knowing is knowing it in your heart, in your bones, in your gut, in your very soul, in your DNA. Knowing is something that is unshakable, no matter what someone says, no matter what someone does. When you are triggered because of a belief that differs from your belief, okay? <clears throat> it's simply showing you that you don't know it. You're just telling yourself that, okay? If you know it, it's unshakable. People can do and say whatever they want and it's not going to shake you, okay? If it's a belief, now we have a problem because you don't really know that in your heart. It's just something you tell yourself. And so you want to go into that fighting, that anger, that despair, all of that stuff. Okay. So that is the difference. <clears throat> Anything anyone else does has nothing to do with you. Okay. We can see them as opportunities tr to trigger us so that we do more of our inner healing. Okay. Does that make sense? <clears throat> because when we know something in our heart, it doesn't matter what anyone says or does. If we are triggered, it's because it's only a belief. And that means we're not sure. It's just something we tell ourselves. There's a big difference. Know the difference. If you don't sit in meditation and think about that. Okay. So you wanted me to go a little deeper into how to heal. So, okay. You, you get triggered and you're angry about something Uncle Pete said at the at the table on Thanksgiving or something um, because it challenged a belief or it could be it could be anything. It could be something that's happening in the world. It, it could be something about you. It could be something about someone else. 
it doesn't matter whatever the trigger is. It's because he challenged a belief that you don't know in your heart. You don't know it in your soul. You don't know it in your DNA. So as soon as you can go into meditation, once you're triggered, sit with that emotion, call in your team, call in your higher self and ask, what is this really about? The answer will come. Again, I know I repeated this in a previous video, but so many of you have asked me to go a little deeper into this. It is as simple as that. Everybody's process will be a little different. Usually we know on some level what this is about. And it's usually never really about what we think it's about initially. You know, there's something deeper. You know, when we have a huge reaction that is far greater than what would logically seem um, to be the case, it's because there are built up layers of this. And that person is triggering layers and layers of that onion to come up for processing and to be released and to be healed. You know, deep down, we are still holding the fear that maybe we're wrong. Deep down, we're holding a fear that we're not good enough. Deep down, we're holding that belief that maybe they're right, you know, and, and that we are unlovable or that we are crazy or that we're just <laughs> whatever. Um, that's usually what will come up. Let yourself feel that for a minute. Don't, don't wallow in it, certainly, but let yourself feel it. And allow it to be released from your body, from your energy field, from your emotional body. Let it be released. You may cry. You may purge. You may have a different kind of release. Okay? Let that be okay. It doesn't mean that you're doing anything wrong. It means that you're doing everything right. As long as you are going in to meditation and your still time and your quiet time and asking for answers, asking for help, asking for healing. OK, it's also important to do the clearing techniques that we've talked about on many previous videos. I will continue to repeat things because they are so simple and so important, but we need to do them. You know, it's one thing to know about them, but it's another thing to do them. And so clearing is another thing that is so important. Again, go into your meditative space, your stillness, allow that golden white shower to come down and wash off any residue from your energy field, from your body, and let it go down into the earth. Make sure you are grounded. Again, you're not hurting the earth. The earth will transmute that and transform it. I like to say that she turns it into beautiful crystals for all of us. You know, it's just energy to her. We're her mother. She's our mother and we're her children. It's like the umbilical cord, you know, again, I'm repeating, but it bears repeating. So let that white light shower wash everything away. If you would rather do it in the actual shower, let the water wash it away and down the drain. Whatever energy you're carrying that is not your own or that is your stuff coming up. Say, I am ready to release this spirit. Can you help me? You will get an answer. You know, ask. I know whenever I'm having a bad day or something, I'll be like group hug and I feel so much better. When, when I have my spirit team there helping me out, you know, when, when you're having an emotional day or something difficult to go through. Um, remember, all of these challenges help us grow. It doesn't mean there's anything wrong with us, but we need to really dig deep. You know, that's the simplest way I can put this. You've got to make that time to be still, to let it go. You know, it's one thing to be listening to someone else doing a meditation and falling asleep or not really paying attention. It's one thing to be listening to somebody's podcast. It's another thing to actually do those things on your own. You can do them with assistance, but you've got to do the work. Okay. You have to sit with this. It's okay to feel these things. You're going to have to, to process them, especially if they're very deep wounds. Some of these wounds can be from previous lifetimes that have carried through to this one. It can be a theme that's being repeated through many lifetimes like I said in a previous video, so that we know everything from a very well-rounded perspective, every facet of a particular situation so that we can transcend it and then help others with what we have learned. Again, we are putting it into the grids so that that information is available to others. You know, it's as simple as that. We are cosmic beings. We are connected to everyone and everything. We're all from the same source. So we're here figuring it all out, um, 
pretending we're separate, forgetting our connection to source. We have found our way back to source, I think, or you wouldn't be listening to a video like that, or at least you're trying. Um, we are all divinely connected. You know, there is nothing wrong with any of us. We may be having challenges. We may be feeling yucky. <clears throat> and guess what? We might get triggered at Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> Again, as soon as you can, let you clear yourself, ground, work with your crystals. If that's what you want to do, do Reiki on yourself or whatever kind of healing you do. Ask your team to do it that evening when you go to bed, because we're very um, open to all of that stuff while we're asleep. There's no resistance <laughs> when we're awake. Sometimes we resist because deep down, we still feel we're unworthy, unlovable, all of those things again, you know? We've got a lot on our plates, all of us do. This energy is crazy. It is catalyzing so much stuff. I mean, I see people falling apart and including light workers. You're gonna see a lot of people showing their true colors, you know, even those who say they're on the spiritual path. You're going to see people that you trusted, you know, um, in, in the regular world or in the spiritual world community. You're going to see people you trusted um, going down the other path and it's not going to feel right to you. And you're going to need to trust yourself over anybody else. Okay. <clears throat> the age of the guru is gone right now. Okay, folks, the guru is in our heart. Again, I repeat and repeat and repeat. You are your own guru. Okay. You are the only one that can say if something feels right to you. And just because it feels right to someone else or even millions of other people doesn't mean it's right for you. And you are your own authority, okay? Let that sink in. Let that be known in your heart, not a belief. Let it be known in your heart, in your DNA, in your soul that you are the ultimate authority for yourself, okay? Um, but you got to do the work, guys. If you want to be free, if you want to feel better, if you want to be triggered less, um, you've got to do the work and let it go. It may take more than one session for yourself. It may take a little bit of time to release stuff. But when you do it, okay, and that, that's the best explanation I can give you as to how to do that. Make that quiet time and work. Love yourself. Tell yourself, I love you. Let's heal. We're, we're worthy. We're, you know, we're, we're beautiful sparks of the divine. Um, we don't need to hold this anymore. Let's let it go. What was the lesson? And I know that that's always helped me a lot is when, when something challenging happens, you ask yourself, what is the lesson in this? Okay. See it from that higher perspective. What is the lesson? Lessons are always there to help us evolve and to help us be free. Okay. So that's the best way I can tell you. And again, the clearing, all the, if you, if you need to look back at a clearing technique, check that out. It's a previous video. You'll see it, how to clear ourselves when we get slimed <laughs> um, and we may be slimed. So have your shielding up. It's not fear-based. It's, it's smart. <laughs> have your shielding up. Um, when, when you go to Thanksgiving dinner <laughs> to your dysfunctional family gatherings, um, even if it's a functional one, have your shields up, you know, so that only love and light may enter and leave. It's all good. Um, people don't have to agree with you. You don't have to agree with them. It doesn't make you wrong. It doesn't make them wrong. Everybody's on a different step of this journey. You know, we're all traveling along similar lines. You know, of course, we've got the evolving ones and the devolving ones, you know. Um, but right now we're all kind of in the same camp and we can see and hear and interact with each other still. That's going to be changing, you know. The energy is moving very quickly. Time is moving very quickly. Look at the events happening. Oh my gosh. It is an avalanche of information, shall we say. And people are going to be in cognitive dissonance. They're going to be anxious. They're going to have a lot of high energy going on. Don't let yourself take on their stuff. Just because they're being triggered by something that happened outside, don't let them trigger you. Okay. It's not your stuff. That's their stuff. You can support them. You can be compassionate. Um, you don't have to add fuel to the fire by fighting or arguing your points. Anytime you're arguing your point, 
you're not in your center. You're in your ego. Somebody hurts your ego. When you know something in your heart, that none of that can happen because it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. You allow them their beliefs. You know, if someone is accosting you and yelling at you, that's something different. You know, you just don't engage. Okay. Everybody's going to do this a little differently and especially depending on your relationships. But as long as there is love at the basis, this is all okay. You know, if it's your family, if there's love at the basis of this, it's going to come out okay. But you can be that shining example. You don't need to react just because everybody doesn't agree with you. You know, if they can't possibly understand your beliefs, then don't start standing on your soapbox and spouting them. You know, everybody doesn't have to believe the way you do. If everyone did, they'd be waking up far too quickly and it wouldn't be the right thing for them. You know, yes, it is difficult to be in a world where we're aware of so many things that most of the public isn't. However, this avalanche of information coming out is going to shift people. They're going to be in cognitive dissonance and maybe they're going to have questions that you can really help them with. You know, so if we can stay in our center, not worry about our ego, you know, we'll be helping and, and not getting triggered and not triggering others. Okay. But whatever you do in any social situation, no matter where you go, okay, make sure you clear yourself afterward. Make sure that you, you clear your house if it happened in your house, you know, all of the things that we've talked about in previous videos, but seriously, just a golden white shower, light shower, um, putting a pyramid of light around yourself, you know, and letting it spin and, and getting rid of that energy grounding asking your, your team to help you. What is the best way for you? You know, how, whatever you can imagine or visualize is the right way. Okay. So hopefully that was a little bit more in depth and, and helpful to you guys. I know the energies are high. I know it's tough. I know you've got friends who don't get it. Families that don't get it. They don't understand you. Nobody says they have to, you know, you're not responsible for anybody else. And no one else is responsible for you and your feelings, okay? Even if it is your children or your parents, you're not responsible for each other's feelings. However, we can act in a compassionate way. You know, others may not know how to do that, you know, but let yourself stay clear. If you've got to clear yourself during the day, then do it, you know, um, as soon as you can clear yourself you eventually will get to the point where you can do it immediately, you know, and so stuff doesn't fester within you. Um, again, there's nothing wrong with you. All of these triggers are opportunities for growth and for freedom. So have a really happy Thanksgiving holiday. Um, use your protection, use the tools, you know, use your clearing techniques. And definitely if you're triggered, don't beat yourself up, go into meditation as soon as you can and get clear. And ask your team to help you. They're here. We're the ground crew. They're the rest of our team up there, right? They have the whole perspective. We're the ground crew. We're the foot soldiers. So we've got the tough job on this end. And they know that. And they are here to help us every step of the way. We are learning for source. We are experiencing for source. You know, so there's nothing wrong. There's nothing bad. Okay. It's just how we feel. And our emotions are our guidance system. When we feel good, we know we're in the flow. When we feel yucky, we know we need to do some clearing in order to get back to feeling good again. Okay. So again, this is Lori with Crystal Earth Magic, and I will talk to you soon. Thank you.